Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more Rome 2 glorious siege battles for you today as we return to a epic 3v3 here as we have Gete, Carthage and Swaby fighting against Rome, Arverni and Armenia. So some unusual factions for sure in this one here. Uh, Gete, don't often see them I feel like and they're in fact already sallying out here in this uh, in this siege battle here, you can see they're going after Arverni's uh, archers and also their chosen swords. You can see they're trying to kill those uh, Gallic hunters. They actually got about half that unit. That was a pretty good charge there. You now can see the noble horse general rushing over here. We've got uh, spear horsemen being caught by naked swords here. Trying to cut those guys down. I guess these guys are being sent after the cavalry. They don't have much weight. You know, we're wearing very little. Uh, I imagine. Armenia has some cavalry as, as that knight general, but that is it really. He's trying to block off the escape with Hillman. But it looks like Gete still has found a way around and he's desperate to try and get some of those uh, cavalry, uh, to get some of those archers. Noble horse here capturing the, uh, the spear horseman. And they're gonna have a bloody battle here. And Gete came back in and that should seal their fate with the infantry of the veteran legions and those naked swords joining that fight there so there you go that is that cavalry sally out already dealt with but for a moment it did look like it could endanger the gallic archers we have the uh, gallic warriors here abandoning their arverni brothers joining the carthaginians coin and they're fighting against the roman legions here We've got veteran legionaries in here and principes, so we've got a variety of different eras being sent in in this Roman army here. Lots of principes actually coming forward in this first wave. And they actually haven't got that much of a... Well, I, I was about to say, I haven't got much of that much of an army. It's all back here. Lots of legionaries. Yeah, they've got every era here. Imperial, Republican, and uh, Amar like Primarian. As you see the Celtic Warriors going in, trying to deal with these spearmen here, these armored spears of Gete. Don't know how well they are going to really do that. I imagine they're kind of like hot plates, just really be holding a choke point. Uh, probably a pretty good uh, mi missile defense. You see here these uh, naked warriors do not have good missile defense, wearing no armor. Um, kind of gives it away in the name. And they're getting focused down there by Dacian Heavy Bow, which is a pretty solid bow unit. Looks like Swaby is going to get the joy of going up against uh, the Armenian player here. He's got his elite Persian archers here, does Armenia, and he's, I think, trying to shoot these elephants back here, which he is actually in range of doing. So really should be using fire arrows. He should be trying to scare these elephants instead of trying to weaken them. But there you go, they're already out of control, and that is huge. And they're just going to go running on through these Swaby uh, round shield swords here, start to inflict some damage on them. Look at that, already killing like 40 of them. Oh my gosh, that's actually devastating. That's a huge loss there. And yeah, now using fire arrows to make sure they stay out of control. And that's basically a unit of round shield swords gone just like that from their own side. They need to get these uh, Swaby out of the way because the elephants are going to come stampeding through. Another one's going to get hit. What is this? Hex bearers. Pretty useful unit. And there you go. The elephants are stabbed. They're being wasted just like that. What a huge loss the uh, riders there. Stabbing their elephants. And probably the best decision. Because they actually, you know, did a lot of damage to the enemy. Uh, like, to, to the defenders. Rather than to the enemy. You can see the round shield swordsman that whittled down to two men, they were. Wow. That is horrific. Back on the front lines over here. Rome is steadily plodding away against Gete. Trying to break through this front line. Getting with his mercenary axe warriors here. They're putting up a stern defense against his prink base, inflicting a fair amount of damage these guys are losing, like the uh, mercenary axe warriors. That's kind of how war works. Unfortunately, war is hell. Everyone's a loser. Got mercenary Scutiaria, some Spanish troops fighting for the, uh, the Carthaginians. Got Falksman over here as well in combat. These guys are 
feared by the Romans. Their big falc swords cut through armor and shields. The Romans brought a had in the Dacian Wars. So yeah, these uh, Prinkbase here, probably in a lot of trouble. But another problem with the Falksmen is that they are very vulnerable to missile fire. And that is exactly what's happening right now. We have uh, Auxiliary Balearic Slingers as well in here. I don't know why they're so close, but they are. They're actually point blank shooting those Falksmen. Pretty brutal. We don't have more Falksmen in here just yet, but Gede is fighting brutally on against two armies here, both Arverni and Rome. Giving his all, that is for sure. But yes, if you're enjoying Rome 2 Sieges and would like to see some more, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and come to show your support. It really does help out the channel. And if you've got any epic Rome 2 replays that you want to send in for me to check out, feel free to send them into my Discord. The link is down below in the description. But yeah, it seems though these mercenary axe warriors, they are overpowered really by... The, uh, the chosen swords. I'll put up the uh, the hood as well so you guys can see. Because you guys like to see how many kills people are getting. As you can see him, like chosen swords, 34 melee attack. Most of your axe warriors have 35, but the weapon damage is just considerably better. Chosen swords, 40. Uh, most of your axe warriors at 25. And then it doesn't help now that there's more chosen swords being landed on the wall. Um, we're seeing a. I don't know where. This, is that a Falks unit maybe? Did it just go out the wall and then come back in? I don't know. Oh, they sallied out. Why did they do this? So they sallied out. Whether they try to go for the Noble Horse General, try and support the fight of it, I really don't know. But yeah, so some late living hoplites from Carthage and I think some Falksmen sallied out to help in this fight here. That was a bizarre move by the uh, attackers. Looks like they were defeated. Armenia is about to land. Well, hopefully his Carly Axemen and their towers starting to burn, starting to be cooked alive. Had a bit of a fight here, but it looks like, again, a lot of round shield swords being focused down. Um, they have dropped a couple of towers here, and we do have Hillman landing. But yeah, they were getting focused down by archers. This Armenia player is doing a really good job systematically taking out units. Yeah, Hillman died here as well. I don't know what that was to. Yeah, they're doing a really good job on this side of Armenia. Taking it quite slowly and actually killing a lot of weakened Swavy units. Oh, keep killing a lot of weak Swavy units off. Swavy, in fact, sending troops over here because he's not having a fight on the other side. The sword masses, the elite swords going in here, taking on the chosen swordsmen of Arverni. Barbarians fighting barbarians. Rome will really love that. Archfire now coming in from those Dacian heavy bowmen trying to focus down these swordsmen, trying to inflict some damage onto them. Looks like we've got the Syrian archers trying to respond. They all are taking out these heavy bowmen. It's pretty steadily there. They're still fighting, uh, by the way, in this first sort of layer. We have more Falksmen down here. These ones aren't actually getting shot by archers, so they might have a little bit more success. It looks like they are going to retreat. They are very much like a shock infantry unit. They do very well on the charge and then not like on a flank. And they actually managed to get everything out of there. They might have to sacrifice something. They did not. Mercy Scutiari here. They're going straight back in. And Carthage and Gaul fighting each other. Once allies, now enemies. It looks like, yeah, Gede is not going to give up for this area here. I think he's going to try and surround this this uh, Arverni unit. It's a bit of a risk because he could himself be uh, surrounded himself. So he might want to do the, allow the Falcon to go for it. Keep the spears in place. He might also want to think about retreating soon because I don't think this is sustainable, this fight here. But here we go. First bit of fighting that we've seen between Swaby and Armenia. I imagine Swaby's going to win this. It looks like Swordmasters. Yeah, fighting Hillman. This is very much an unfair fight. If you didn't already know. One is the top swords unit for a faction. One is like the weakest they could possibly bring. I'll let you guess which is which.
Yeah, those Falks, when they did go for a flank on these Chosen Swords, and it is causing them to lose, but Rome is quite happy. He was wanting to bait in these Falksmen. And oh boy, are they getting some good kills on the Falksmen. Surrounded, these guys are very vulnerable. They do like to flank, but they also hate being flanked themselves. And like that, the Falksmen are shattered and gone. And they actually preserve this unit of Chosen Swords. It's back to combat even. So that Falksman unit was sacrificed for nothing. Get it here. Bring a lot of spears, and spears just get overpowered by swords. Rome definitely pulled through there, though. That's poor from Rome. Uh, hopefully he uses, loses this unit, because, yeah, he deserves to after pulling through. Often that is what happens, but, yeah, I imagine that, yeah, Armored Spear also losing, and that'll be affected because of the pull through as well. Yeah, the uh, Prinky Face here being javied in the back. So they are starting to die, and they are going to waver and break, which is good to see. Don't want to see cheating in uh, Total War at all. Again, this is not a fight that's where we can uh, really like, fight for. He's only putting Club Levy in here, which is, I mean, good. But, I mean, he's getting focused down inside by elite Persian archers. I mean, Swaby is doing the same back, and he's actually killing a Kali Axeman with his uh, Longbow Hunters. I assure you, Armenia probably has more infantry than Swaby does. The defenders usually have smaller armies and have to use their defenses against the attackers. That's how you win. Not by having more troops. Kali Axman, though. That's not a die. The club levy. Combat even. I think they've stopped firing at them. Whether these guys are out of ammo? No, they still oppose. Easy way to tell whether a uh, Arshuna has ammunition. If it's got its bow out, then they uh, still have ammo. If they have a sword out, then they're in trouble. They are out of ammo. There you go, that Kali Axman's gone. It's a bit of a win there for uh, for Swaby. Nicely done. Yeah, this uh, Swordmaster here, I feel like needs to retreat at some point because Swaby, well, he can't on the other side keep holding on with these Swordmasters and also Gede can't keep sending in Falksman and just other various units to try and ha help hold this. I'm surprised he's brought this many Falksmen for us. I, don't, I think they're very much a glass cannon. I don't think they do actually a lot of damage. They do absorb a lot of archer fire, though. He's helped route that unit there, though. I think that was Chosen Swords. And he can now, I guess, if he wanted to rear charge this unit here. I don't know what he's going to go in for. Maybe these Romans. Oh, no, they're not Romans. So these are Bernie that are landing. Yeah, looks like that is going to be his target. Again, I don't know if it's a great target, but he's going in. Oh, he's going after the O-Sworn. Well, I imagine the Falks will do a pretty good armor piercing, so we'll see whether they can do pretty well against these heavily armored Celts. Also, recapturing the tower, if you cared. That's a bit of a win. There you go, I think these Falks will have been off more they can chew. In fact, there's noble swords now in here. I think Gede's committing everything he's got. And he's bringing up noble spears. Why didn't he bring the noble swords? The noble swords for Gede are pretty, not cheap, but they're pretty decently priced and also are very, very good. You can spam those guys out. But yeah, the noble swords here fighting on. They are killing these Osman off quite decisively, and we're seeing Rome now having to commit his legionaries to try and help this uh, this front. Rome, yeah, and Arvoni here. Kind of are struggling. I keep thinking Gede's going to retreat. He's got nothing left. But no, he seems like he's got more and more reserves, though his general being thrown in might be a sign that those reserves are about to dry out. But we're yet to see most of Carthage's army go into battle. And Swaby's still got a good percentage of his army left. Again, these legionaries here, they're probably getting shot on the side here. We've got living javelinmen, actually. Coming up. It's an unusual unit to be being used. Yeah, those javis, I guess, could do a lot of damage to legionaries there. And it looks like Armenia's changed attack as well. He's not going to attack over here. I mean, his uh, towers are so much on fire that are now actually burning down. 
He is landing some troops. But yeah, a lot of his troops actually might be dying to these towers collapsing. I don't know. Yeah, maybe one or two. But he's actually now coming over to support the attack against Rome and Arverni. Rome still seems to have a decent amount of reserves. A lot of his legion is left. I think he's let uh, Arverni go in first. He's let the barbarian scum take the, uh, the heavy fighting. The Romans are just coming in to do the cleanup. Or he might be saving himself for his rival, Carthage, who has still got, I think, quite a lot of troops. I mean, his Salmonites are there. What else has he got here? Yeah, more Salmonites. We've got Korean archers. They might not need a sub -E being used. But yeah, Gede is trying to retreat. He's getting his noble swords out of there. I don't think he's going to get his armored spears out of here, but they will go down fighting like brave barbarians they are. There you go, they are gone like that. And now finally, after a lot of fighting, Roman uh, Verni kind of hold this uh, this landing zone, we could call it. The Carthage look like they want to come back for more. I mean, come on, Carthage, just stop. The battle's over here. Salmonites going straight back in, throwing their javis, inflicting casualties, and in they go, fighting against Rome and Arverni. A tough, tough fight. And this one healthy unit of Samnites, which could have been help helpful in its position, is now just getting surrounded slowly. Like, it's committed in a really funny way. It is combat even at the moment. They sh might route a couple of units. And it actually looks like they're going to try and sandwich them from the other side. Samnites attacking from this side as well against more legionaries and chosen swords. It doesn't like it's going to achieve much. These legionaries, oh my gosh, they still have 120 men. 240 kills, that's insane. Same with these chosen swords, they're about to break, but 277 kills. Some huge kills in this game. Yeah, these Samanites, so you can see they're kind of getting, on this corner here, getting surrounded. And they're dying to the Oswal. Not a great unit to be being flanked by. There you go, Rome. I think he's going to pull through again. Shameful display, I won't lie, from Rome. Yeah, he pulled through that unit there of uh, Salmonites to try and break it up. I hope he uses, loses his unit. Yep, losing decisively. That's what you achieve. What about the Salmonites? They're combat even. Excellent. I don't, I'm not rooting for either side, really, but I, if a side's going to cheat, I'll definitely root for the other team in that combat. So yeah, Rome here keeps pulling through. And he's probably wondering why he's losing that unit. Because you pull through, you break your own formation, and you lose a lot of men. And like that, the legionaries should fall pretty quickly. And actually, this area now is going to be contested for again. Armenia, though, kind of pushing on his axeman. He's running into a lot of stiff, swavy defense. But he is uh, making some progress. Where is the cap point? I imagine back here, this is the cap point here, where the elephants tragically got murdered by their own team. But uh, it was needed. It was necessary. We've got Romans in there too. They're not trying to pull through this time though. Swaby's trying to hold on. I think he's a round shield swordsman. Swordmasters, yeah, round shield swordsman. They'll hold for a little while. Looks like Carthage here. He's actually starting to lose a fight, which is a problem, I guess, but... Hopefully he can route the legionary just so the pull through has kind of failed. We'll see. The legionaries here are starting to fade away. They are nearly out of troops of Rome inside the city. They still have about six units outside. Most of them are just basic legionaries again, but they do have one armored legionary here, which should do pretty damn well. These guys are usually the bread and butter of all Roman armies brought in Rome to sieges. 
They are deadly. We'll see how they do here today. Armina on this side is finally being dealt with as well. Carly Axman are beating the round shield swords. But we're going to see more. It looks like more round shield swords here. Surround, flank that unit. Potentially and just kill them off. Hillman might be going in as well. And with the death of these Axemen over here, we'll end the fr the assault from our Armenia on that side. These guys need to just get off the wall. Just engage this Hillman. There you go. Well, the Hillman is going to come up and engage them. I imagine the Hillman will lose. They're very cheap. Very throw. Like, very much a throwaway unit. The round shield swords, they're not that great themselves. We'll see. We'll see who wins. Hillman are losing decisively. We got as that knight general moving across. I don't know where he's going. Maybe just rally troops. Maybe try and charge some of these round shield swords. We've even got Oathsworn now being sent over here. They're that concerned about these Grand Shield Swords for some reason. I don't know why. Or maybe they just need some free easy kills. Oh, there you go. In goes the General. Don't know what they really hope to achieve from sending that General. He just rear charged his own men. Didn't really get a great charge off from the enemy. And... Yeah, don't pull through. Pull out. You'll lose a lot of men from that general unit if you pull through. Again, taking it steady, our Armenia. And it's working quite well. Like, they're just setting up, jabbing these units in front of them. And doing, yeah, a considerable amount of damage to these uh, noble spears here. And in go the uh, Axemen now. Oh, I thought they were going to go in, but they're not. They're going to hold their ground a little longer. Throw some more Javis at even closer range. I think they're going to get some Javis back from the uh, from the defenders. These poor Gete Spears. They are battered and bruised and bloodied up. And here come the Axemen. Yeah, these little spears are a pretty expensive unit. They only got 50 kills. You'd have been better off bringing... Uh, the Gede player would have been better off bringing the uh, the sword variant instead of the nobles, I think. Hopefully the defenders haven't left this uh, area undefended because otherwise Rome could just send a couple of uh, units around this corner here. And he's in behind. He just unlocked all these other defenses. But they're so... Defiantly being held. Like the tribes are uniting here. Gete and Swaby fighting side by side. Trying to hold back the Armenian menace. You see the Axman and Carly Axman are losing. They're going to get some Roman reinforcements, which is kind of blobbing it up a little bit. Just turned this into quite a nice archer. Uh, target if anyone could get some good shots and there's three units in there. It's pretty pretty major So it seems like the Hellman did die But there is even more scary force now coming at these round shield swords and these hex bearers have to deal with And I don't think they have the power to do so. It's legionaries and then oath sworn. So yeah, some pretty nasty units there about to go in And yet yeah, all that's way we can do is really retreat. He just needs to retreat. He doesn't need to defend that far up Just retreat to back here somewhere Try and get some support from your allies or other other units. Rome breaks through this choke point here. It looks like he's killed off Libyan javelin men. No Korean archers. I hope they had no ammo. I really hope these guys had no ammo. But um, but yeah, he's pushing on through now, and it looks like they are defending the final cap point, and that is really all that is left. Carthage does have pikes, and he also brought a ballista. Or oh, like a scorpion. I don't know how good an idea this was. Uh, I hopefully he's shooting at this as that night general because 
He's coming for that. He's coming for that booty. He's coming for that Carthaginian scorpion. I'm sure of it. Oh, maybe not. The African pikes are blocking it off. And this Armenian general might be in trouble actually in a moment. He could get sandwiched in here. He actually is going to carry on charging. Oh my. Yeah, Armenia's going to lose his general here, I think, because he's going to get sandwiched between this African pike and the other ones. Oh, he might get out of there in time. Just. I honestly you could see the two, uh, like, the, um, the wings just closing in on each other, and they could have got it. If the general here was a little bit more aggressive, I feel like they could have used that general's bodyguard. Got some easy kills. Yeah, as you can see, they're running for their lives. In fact, the Roman the Roman infantry has been slowed down by Ryan Shield Swords. Again, it looks like he's pulled through. Again, it looks like he's pulled through because these rounded swords are just way inside the, uh, the Roman formation. Usually a clear sign of pulling through. So Rome... Yeah. I mean, he's already playing as one of the most overpowered factions. You don't need to pull through. It's not achieving anything. You don't look good. The fight, this main choke point fight, though, continues on. They break through here, the attackers, then it's straight into the cap point. So, yeah, the defenders right now throwing everything they have. These round shield swords, though, are not up to the task of stopping against these axemen and the legionaries of Rome. It did seem bizarre that Swaby saved these guys rather than his sword masters. Which he sent in so early. Yeah, as you can see, the round shield swords here, they're trying to hold on. Whether they can, we'll see. Legionaries here, yeah. I mean, they're gonna just charge into these scorpions. There's no way the scorpions could kill all those guys in time. The general here. He's gonna have to pull off a bit of a miracle if he's gonna try and kill these legionaries. Scarily being used there, a curse being used by the hex bearer. That's kind of cool. I don't think I often see that being used. I imagine that does a lot of yeah damage to morale. Don't know whether that's actually going to bring uh, break the uh, legionaries. They are already winning. You never know. They are very much a support unit. You know, I feel like with the hex bearer, supposed to be fighting behind the front lines. Well, fighting behind like your lines. They just stand there and just kind of shout some curses. Maybe get used in rear charges. They're not exactly uh, frontline fighters, they're light melee infantry as you can see here. Not going to stop the armoured legionaries of Rome. Wooden and spears here, though. These guys are not going to hold, it seems. They've got 104 melee defense, but it's doing them no good right now. They're in their, yeah, in their shield screen. It's not stopping the uh, legions right now as they try and smash their way through. And again, I think he's trying to pull through. I don't know. Yep. Yep, Rome is trying to pull through again. What is he doing? He tried it for a moment. More legionaries being sent in. Hey, 
We are seeing Axman starting to break and waver. It looks like Carthage sent forward his final elite unit, his Mercury Noble Fighter is going in here. These elite Spanish warriors fighting against the Oathsworn, the elite Gallic warriors. The Battle of the Titans. See who wins. Looks like the, uh, the Oathsworn are losing. I mean, yeah, Mercury Noble Fighters, 56 melee attack. It's actually better than the Oathsworn. Uh, the, these Oathsworn have got over 200 kills. So they've done their job. Weapon damage. Uh, yeah, it's slightly lower, though, for the Oath, uh, for the Mercury Noble Fighters. Those Oathsworn there. Are slightly, slightly better in damage, but not in melee attack. Mercury Noble Fighters. One Oathsworn, nil. They have actually just pulled through as well. I think they thought that they were broken. And Rome is in the cap point. Look at that. Well, he's in a cap point. I think this, this is the cap point, actually, maybe back here. And it looks like Gete's going to throw his general back in, his noble swords. I don't know what Carthage is doing. He's got, a, like, a line after line of pikes here. Defending. I mean, the threat is behind you, Carthage. You need to move this pike over here into this choke point. It's not like the attackers have much in the way left of, like, archers. So you you could win in that sense. You just need to, uh, I don't know, what, like, what they're doing, Carthage here. They need to, they need to get moving. You need to get them moving. Get your, get your pikes and get them into that breach point there. Soon. Turn around, you fools. General's bodyguard, they're about to get charged here by, I think this is, uh, yeah, the Arvernian general. He's been in so many fights already today, but he goes in again. What a fool. I mean, he's not got much in the way left, I don't think. I think this actually might be his last thing. So he sent him in. The pikes here did just about get their pikes down in time to stop those. So those axemen did a pretty decent job there stopping those. Yeah, here we go. Korean archers now having to go into the fight along with this general. If they kill this general here, we might see a mass rout. They're retreating their archers. I mean, and the Javis. The Scorpion, I don't know if he's still got ammo left, but he needs to start firing. And they need to get these pikes into support to try and pin down this axeman. There we go. The pikes come marching in. It looks like the general might be dead. He might have gone. Yep. General is dead for Carthage. That is going to cause all sorts of morale problems. The pikes here, as you can see, getting baited out with the choke point. Don't allow this to happen, Carthage. Don't be baited out. Just stand there if you have to. Wait for the Javis to, start, to finish throwing. They only have a couple of volleys. And that, don't look the wrong way, though. Do not look the wrong way. Looks like Rome's going to go in. Carthage is going to just keep retreating. And he needs to get these Mercury Noble fighters back into the fight. There you go. Carthage sort of got his pikes down, but that is not a good formation. And those, those pikes, I think they're about to lose. I don't know. Got Axeman over here fighting as well. Taking on these uh, Korean archers. This should be a very easy fight for them. Yeah, winning decisively. It looks like actually these Axemen are going to try and surround the pikes here, which is not a bad idea. If they kill these guys off, then they can, they can probably mass route them pretty quickly. Just a few rear charges is all that the pikes need to scare them off. It looks like we're going to see a Mercury Noble fighter. He's going to go into the rear of these Kali Axemen. He's going to hit them in the back. Good volley there. Here we go, Mercury Noble fighter. Slicing and dicing these Axemen. And more
more units there starting to waver. Are we going to see this pike unit maybe start to break and waver as well? There's only three units left for Carthage. They're probably in real danger of uh, mass routing. I can't see anything yet. It seems like they're quite happy. And there you go. A costly victory for the Arvini. I'm guessing that maybe Carthage just conceded. Um... With the knowing that his army was basically defeated and he was going to get surrounded. But there you go. We'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. So, um, this battle was sent in by the drunk Norwegian who was playing as the Arverni. Uh, so, thank you very much, man, for sending that one in. It's been a glorious battle, that's for sure. 152 kills with one of his Gallic Hunters, which nearly very early on got killed off. Um, certainly felt like the defenders did do a pretty good job. Um, I don't know about the sally outs, whether they could have been used uh, used that money elsewhere. I think if they had, I think they could have clinched it, to be honest. Um, his infantry did pretty well, though. 290 kills of the Chosen Swords. Very, very nicely done. Uh, like most of them getting into the 200s. 203, 201. Um, Naked Swords getting 90 kills. Oak Sworn, 215. 241 kills. Very nice. The Skiff playing as Rome. Getting 132 kills as legionaries, 151 with another hit, 358 with this one, 202, some very good kills. Veteran legionaries, 323 kills, 212, 209, some good kills there, but yeah, something that Skiff needs to remember is no pull throughs, just don't do it. Then we have Andrew playing as Armenia, getting uh, 114 kills with his archers, 115 with another. Uh, his axes getting 100, 100 kills basically there. Uh, and his Kali Axeman getting 159, 193. Some good kills there. Then we have Solid Branch playing as Carthage. Unfortunately, his elephants were wasted. His Scorpion seeing little action, but uh, getting a few kills there. Pikes, 78 kills, but definitely could have got more. Archers, 127 kills. I definitely think the Javis maybe were not the right unit to bring. Uh, these Cretan Archers are much, much better. But one got 85 kills is not bad. His Merchant Noble Fighters, 136 kills, 146 with the Samonite Warriors, 170 with another there. Then we have Aston Fro playing as Gete here, 181 kills with the Noble Swords. Definitely feel like he should have brought more swords instead of these uh, spearmen, because I just don't think they got that many kills. I mean, this one, this Noble Sword, um, no, Noble Spear here got 60 kills. His uh, Horseman got 92 kills. His Dacian Bowman got 152, 157 kills. His, one of his spears did get 115 kills, not bad. And he spammed out the Falksman, uh, which got 92 kills. And his Mercury Axe Warrior is getting 159 kills. Then we have uh, Leo V playing as Swaby. 105 kills with the Wadden as Spears hit. Archers, uh, 140 kills, 185, 258 kills. Then he's got his Round to the Swords with 152 kills. Uh, 168 with another one there. Yeah, really spamming these guys out. He had a full stack, actually. Impressive. Uh, Sword Master here with 163 kills. 249 kills. The guys probably, like, had a fifth of his kills themselves. It's insane. And Hex Bearers, yeah, only, like, 30-odd kills for them. But there you go, guys. That is today's Siege Battle. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.